Good morning, Mimi Makers. I hope you have had your uh, morning coffee, tea, uh, I don't know, kombucha or whatever gets you up in the morning and you are ready to look at some uh, beautiful things with me this morning. Um, if you're watching this live, maybe you'll give me a little smiley face, a little coffee emoji or something just so I know who I'm talking to. I'll I'll um, leave a little bit of time because I know that Facebook has been very, Facebook and YouTube seems to have been very late in notifying people. Um, last week, my mom told me that she didn't get the notification until the live was actually over. So uh, I'm hoping that some people will get the notification within the next um, couple of seconds. Uh, and uh, are able to join me so that I'm not just talking with myself. Janice is here, and I guess Hisai and Catherine are watching from the other room. <laughs> Thanks for the comment on the top. I made it. I'll definitely talk about this later if anybody else wants to hear about it. I'm pretty proud of myself that I made that. Aren't we always like we we are allowed to be proud of the things that we make, right? Catherine's here. Marion is here. Sorry, I missed you last week. I think Marion was here last week. And I didn't see her, but I did see uh, your beautiful dress uh, in our Facebook group. Uh, the Charlie Kaftan that she made was pretty amazing. I hope some other people saw it. Who else is joining me this morning? Any other people that have already gotten the notification that we're here, that we're looking at pretty things. Oh, goodness, damn you, social media. It just, uh, I know that a lot of people do watch it after the fact. So if you're watching it after the fact, still a uh, wonderful hello. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. And feel free to still comment. I do read all the, the comments afterwards to make sure that I didn't miss anything. And I'll still answer some questions um, throughout the time. So um, if this is the first time that you're tuning in, so Thursday is the day where we look at the things that are coming to the Mimi shop on Friday. So all of these things um, are already listed, but not available for purchase yet. They will be available for purchase tomorrow, Friday, May 5th uh, at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, but you can add them to your wish list already if you do have a mini account. So if uh, if you see some things that you really love, and you don't want to forget about it. You can always um, add them to your wish list. So I do want to start off with this beautiful toweling. I don't know if you already took a little quick sneak peek as to uh, what's in the Mimi shop. So this is the Vista toweling. And Courtney, who is one of our Mimi makers that also works in the Mimi shop, um embroidered it for us and i really really like what she did there so this is a hundred percent cotton toweling and she has a food themed really nice machine embroidery that she did on her baby lock flare which is also a machine that you could look at here if you're if you're looking to get an embroidery machine we might have one or two in the shop and then she did a baking theme one on this one so what's so special about this toweling i only got the notification on youtube Hmm, I do see that only YouTube people have joined so far, but it does say that I'm live on Facebook. So maybe Facebook is just very slow. Um, so sorry if uh, if uh, the Facebook people are watching this recorded, but I did set it up right. Maybe we should complain to, to Meta. Anyhow, the Vista toweling is really, really cool because it does come off the roll. So this is a different uh, color. So it comes off the roll like this. Look at that. So it's already sized for you. So the sides are already hemmed. Look at this. They're already beautifully, beautifully double folded, hemmed and top stitched. And this is a continuous roll. So whatever you order. So remember, we sell in half meter increments. If you order half a meter, you get half a meter like like this. It's almost going to be a square. If you order a meter, you get a full meter and so on. Uh, and then you just need to hem the ends. It's so cool. So if you needed a table runner that's like two meter long, just get a two meter piece, hem your ends, 
and you're done. You could do some hand embroidery on it, machine embroidery. You can add some patches to it or just nothing because these are already really, really fantastic. So great for, uh, oh, the first Facebook person. I guess Facebook finally notified people. Zell has, Zell, did you just get the notification from Facebook? This is five minutes in, people. Did you, Zell, did Facebook uh, just give you the notification that we're live? That is, uh, if it did, then um, that took a really long time. Anyhow, I think more people are going to join us now that Facebook has caught on. Uh, but we just started, so you didn't miss that much. So we're still looking at the Vista toweling. Hemmed on both sides, comes off the roll like this. Uh, you can make fantastic dish towels, tablecloths. Um, I've seen people make amazing quilts out of this because it's still amazing, amazing fabric. Uh, and um, yeah, absolutely love this. So uh, this is one of the colors. This is the dark blue with the white lines. And then we have the, uh, the light blue with the natural. So it almost looks like a linen, but it's actually cotton. So this is the like terra stripe on the natural. And then this is the natural with the light blue stripes on the side. And then again, as you can see, it's beautifully, beautifully top stitched. How awesome is that? And then the last one is this one, which I really, really like. So it has a heathered look on, uh, on the sides. It's like a cross dyed um, cotton here. So the warp and weft threads are different colors on this. And again, let's get rid of this, but again, these are hemmed on the sides and then they just come off the roll so you can get them however long you need them. All right. So those were the toweling. So there's four, four colors of this beautiful toweling. Um, absolutely love this. Next up is a knit fabric. I'm going to start with the, the knits because there's only one knit this week. I promise there are more coming next week. They've just arrived, so they didn't make it for this week. But um, I can tell you that's going to be fantastic. My mom made it. Hello, Mama. Schön, dass du uh, dieses Mal auch die, uh, die uh, Nachricht bekommen hast von Facebook. Uh, and so this is like, this is a really, I love this. This is when I saw this, I knew we had to have it. It feels deliciously soft and it's a really, really special texture. So the fiber in this is 88% viscose, which means it's super soft and drapey. Uh, and then we have 7% Lurex and 5% Elastane. So Lurex is the glitter thread that's in it. So this, you can probably already see it from far away, but I wanted to show you the drape on it first. Look how this moves. This is going to be such a nice fabric for a summer dress, a waterfall top shirt, anything that just needs a little bit more drape uh, or more stretch. Um, so if you want like a body contrast, this is great too, because look at the stretch. So this is the stretch with the grain. And then against the grain, this is the stretch. Super stretchy, high recovery. Um, this is the white. And this is a textured knit. So as you can see, it has like this little wave pattern. And the glitter is so hard to see in the video. But can you see that? So this little glitter thread that's like throughout the waves, I'm stretching it right now so that I can show you. It's actually a rainbow glitter thread. So you get this 3D texture. Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll show it on one of the other colors. Maybe that's visible better. Let me show you on the blue. Maybe the dark works better. So this is the, the dark blue, almost like a navy blue. And again, there you go. I think that might be. So depending on how you move this fabric, you might see the glitter more or less. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. On the dark, this is easier to see because the glitter thread is kind of like inside the indent of this texture. So it's not always so obvious that the glitter is there. Can you see that? Oh, I love this so, so much. So again, it's like a wavy, a wavy, that's the back, that's the front. It's like a wavy textured pattern. And then depending on how we move this, and like it has such a beautiful, beautiful drape. Let me show you from further away again how nice and drapey this is. So this is going to look absolutely fantastic 
in a dress and it just adds so much surface interest to have this um this little bit of texture to it and it's so soft because of 88 percent viscose absolutely absolutely love it so it's if uh, you're not familiar with viscose it feels very much like your bamboo or modal so bamboo modal viscose are they're all in the uh rayon viscose family so they all feel very similar they're just made out of different plant fibers. So bamboo is made out of bamboo, modal is made out of beechwood, and viscose is usually made out of mixed plant fibers, but they have the same type of feel to them. If I hope that helps someone, in case you didn't know, just like my little, little tidbit of the day. All right, and then last but not least, we have this um, pink color, which of course is my favorite again. And again, you have that. It's just on this video because it's my lighting is so bright in the studio. It's hard to see this glitter effect, but with uh, with the naked eye, you can see it much better that there is that same sparkly effect on the indent of this texture. Really, really beautiful. Really great for some. Would also make a really nice cardigan to wear over something. All right. So now we move on to the moments. I think a lot of people were waiting for these. Uh, I'm super excited about them. So this is our second collection by Fabulism that we have in the store. So we had the sprout movements first, which was the cotton with the little excess, which all the, the quilters loved it. The, uh, the sewists, the clothes sewists loved it, the garment sewists. It's just a really great base. And their new base that just came out is the Everyday Chambray, which will also be great for quilts, but I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic in clothing. So it's a similar look. But this chambray is made with a bamboo cotton blend. So it's even softer and drapier than their first collection. So I'm going to show you one of them here. And they're all really fantastic. So this is the color Zephyr, color number 13. And we all know that my camera washes this out again. So this has like a, a, a little bit of a sand, like a pink sand undertone, which is really, really nice. And the feel of this, I mean... If you do come to the store, please do ask to touch this fabric because it is heavenly. It is absolutely heavenly. Uh, and if you cannot come to the shop, please believe me that it's absolutely heavenly and you're going to love wearing this. Like this against the skin is an absolute dream because, again, 50, I think it's 50 50. No, 52 cotton, 48 bamboo. Uh, and it is. 110 centimeters wide, 135 GSM. So absolutely perfect for your a Kali shirt, a button-up blouse, button-down blouse, a sundress, uh, a quilt, uh, just about anything, really. Like a little camisole, a little, like some luxurious pajamas. Um, this is absolutely really nice. So I'm going to show you one of the darker ones just so you can see the texture on it better because the light ones don't show quite as well on the camera here. So I'm going to open this beautiful bowl here, which is color. This is color obsidian number nine. So it is the uh, basically the black, but because it is this, uh, this cross-dyed chambray, so all of them have a white weft thread and a darker warp thread so the warp thread is the color and the weft is the um is the uh light color so you can see how this is like it looks very much like our cross dyed linen giorgio but it behaves very differently because of the because of the fiber content absolutely a dream so i have this fat water bundle here to show you all the beautiful colors and you can see them much better because they're all very pastel-y. Um, again, it's hard to show this on camera. Uh, there are 17 colors, but there is a picture of this online that also has a name. Uh, so if you go into the product and you look at all the pictures, there's an overview pictures with all the colors and the color names and the numbers so that it's easier to find which of the exact shades you like. So this is a fat quarter pack that is also going live tomorrow, which is perfect uh, if you want to make a quilt or a quilted jacket or a quilted something uh, or a color blocked something. Um, this will be absolutely perfect for you. Then there's another um, three folds, excuse me, 
of fabric that arrived by fableism. And so this is called the uh, Monarch Grove. This is inspired by a place, I think in California, where they have I don't know, butterflies. Oh goodness. I wrote it. I wrote it down yesterday and now I forgot, but that's kind of it. So this is inspired by nature. All of their collections are inspired by nature. So this is the, the stripe. It's so it's a vertical stripe. Um, this is a hundred percent cotton and um, the vertical stripe. This is the only one with the dark in the background. So it's a dark, dark blue. And then you have the beautiful colors. Uh, with it and it will still work really nicely with these uh, as an accent. So if you were to make um, like, let's say, what do you call it? Like if you were to make a duster cardi out of this and then like a top out of this would be so, so nice to combine that together. So this is the darker one. This is colored dark fuchsia, dark with fuchsia. And then this is the light, the light colored sibling. Yeah, this is the light fuchsia. I should have taken them out first. Sorry, it's like you're doing the unpacking with me. Nicole made it. Hi, Nicole. Glad that you tuned in. All right, so this is the light fuchsia. So the stripes would be the same color, but the background is light. So because the background is the, um, so in this one, the warp threads are white. That's why these colors will appear lighter. Whereas in this one, the warp threads are dark. So that makes these colors, even though the stripes are of the same color, do appear darker because the cross dyeing here is like white warp threads, dark warp threads. So the appearance is a little bit different, but both of them are equally gorgeous. And then we have the light navy because it has more blue tones in the stripes is this one so it has more uh, it has like blue so it goes from blue to teal to like a peachy pink and then uh, almost like a terracotta red and then back to the blue whereas this one just to show it in comparison doesn't have blue in it so this one goes from purples to reds and peaches there's a little bit of an ochre here and then peachy and purple again. So there's no blue. This is blue and red. This is pinky purple and one ochre stripe. All right. So those are the three from the Monarch Grove, which are absolutely fantastic. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. So I, the, I was, uh, at first I was struggling to how I'm going to get dressed because this is a summer top right, that I knitted. Uh, some of you have me, may have seen this online. So this is with the silk the regular premium silk. I made this. This is the camisole number three. If you follow me on Ravelry or part of our Ravelry group, which uh, the link is in the uh, video description, you can also see this uh, and what I used for it. And then I found this blazer that my mom bought for me for my birthday this year. And the color just matches perfectly. It's like this orchid, which you'll see a lot this year. I've noticed that like she definitely bought me a trend to color here. So this orchid goes really well with this. Um, and I really love it. I really, really love wearing this. Um, so thank you, Stephanie. Um, where did I stop? What was I? Okay. All right. Those were the fabrics. Thank you. Uh, okay. So we're, we're done with the fabrics for tomorrow, but there's a lot of other things that are also coming. So I want to start with this, like all the new colors. I guess it was a good segue, Stephanie, to talk about the uh, about our yarns. Like if you have not noticed yet, we have started carrying amazing uh, yarns. Um, the Regia yarns are near and dear to my heart because that is the yarn that even uh, both of my grandmothers used to knit with. I still have socks and things from like 20 or 30 years ago that are still intact that are made uh, from the yarn from this company. That's why it, I had chosen to add this first because I absolutely love it. And I'm really, really happy about having this. So these are only the new colors. So we do have others as well, but these are amazing. So these are all the 50 gram schemes. So uh, 50 grams for adult feet like mine, I would need two of these schemes to make um, a pair of socks. You could also color block them. I just wanna show these colors a little bit because I think they're absolutely 
gorgeous. So these are the self patterning ones. So this one has blues and purples in it. Uh, and um, these ones, so the ones that are like in this peanut shape, they're regular radio yarns, they are uh, machine washable. So these ones you can wash on 40 degrees and you can even put it in the dryer on low. Um, so that's what's different about these from the Regia Premium, which is this one. This is the premium uh, silk blend yarn. So this one I would not be able uh, to wash in the machine and put in the dryer because of the fibers that are in it. But these are like the hard wearing 75% um, virgin wool. Um, they're amazing. That's what most of my socks from my grandma are still made out of. Um, so these are really great for that. They're more the, the hard wearing kind. Um, and I love knitting with these because I always, my brain always works like, let me just knit to the next color. I Let's see what the next color is going to be. So they all have like a different type of pattern. So this one is more of a scattered pattern. So there's always a little uh, sneak peek picture on the side. So this one is really great if you even want to use it as a background color and you're doing like a solid color over top. Let's say you mix it with a pink. Um, like the Mon Amour socks that I'm making right now. You've probably also seen that in my Insta. Um, you could do this as your background color and then this as your little hearts and that would really pop. So I do like working with two yarns together like that. Um, then this one has a little bit of a different pattern. So I think this is called Brazil and it has a stripe pattern. Um, and it will repeat repeats like in the same pattern. So if you want to make two socks that are the same, you just kind of have to fast forward to that same color, you'll see the pattern from your first sock and then you'd fast forward to that. Uh, then another one is this one is really, oops, this one's really beautiful. So this one also has more of a scattered uh, pattern look uh, and it has like some rich um, jewel tones, like a blue and a teal and a black in it. Then this one's really fun. I think this is called, is it called confetti? So it's a white, with just like little dots. So you'll just see kind of a sprinkle. It looks like a birthday cake confetti. So these would also be really nice for baby things, uh, little baby socks uh, or little baby mitts. It would be really, really nice for that or a little blanket. I've made blankets out of this for my babies when they were babies. They're not baby like I still have them though. Um, I really, really like this uh, subtle pattern on this one. And then this is probably my favorite. Oops, I just took off the took off the little thing. So this is like a unicorn color, which we all really love, don't we? So this one has again more the scattered look, and this has like these pastelli unicorny colors. So we have like an aqua blue, we have a pink, we have a peach, and we have a white in it. And this would also be really nice to pair with like a more um, stronger color like this. Uh, or an aqua or uh, one of our neons um, would be really nice to make a pattern out of this one. And then we have some solids, some new solids that we got in. So these, these are the three new ones. We have the four, I can't count today, the four new solids. We do have others, but now we have a lot of, a lot of nice blues. So if you wanted to do some color work with multiple blues, we do have a lot of these blues in stock now. Um, and we even have like three or four pinks now. So some of them, some of the patterns are more tone on tone. Make sure to join us on our Ravelry group. If you want to see some suggestions that we're posting, you can also ask questions there. Absolutely no problem. I did want to show the one that I'm knitting right now. Also with one of these, this is the big skein that we have of this, uh, self patterning yarn. And that's the one that I'm working on right now. And I really like how the pattern comes out. This is the Diagon Alley. So you'll see, you see, it has there's already a little bit of a pattern to it, but once I get to the foot part, there will be a diagonal part. That's why it's called Diagon Alley with a little Harry Potter reference. So I'll definitely show that off when I get a little bit further. And I am knitting with my ebony lantern moon needles, and I have my little project bag that Hisai made for me. Isn't that cute? This is made. She made this with the uh, uh, rifle paper. Uh, fabric that we have in store as well. Uh, I did want to show up the new needles that came in and I absolutely love them because I do have the whole set of those at home and it's the symphony symphony. It's called symphony because there is a German word. Uh, 
of the knit pro needles and these are really really cool the way they're colored i don't know if you can see this this beautiful color like they have a rainbow coloring on them and there's one spot where you'll always right there where you see that chevron pattern between all of those layers so i do like the interchangeable um needles because then you only have to buy the needles once and the cables once and then you just screw them on so the cables do come in different sizes so when the cable says 80 centimeters that means it will make an approximately 80 centimeter needle once the needles are on there are sometimes different lengths of needles so sometimes that measurement can be off by an inch or two just depending on what needles you put on so you can see this has the little adapter and then this is the part that you screw on and they'll easily go on. And then it comes with a tool. So this is what comes in the cable, uh, in the cable um, bag is like this little, this little wire that you will then use in here. There's like a little hole there just to tighten it a little bit. And they're, they're shaped really amazingly so that you don't get a snag on when your, uh, when your loops come up to this side. And these, these guys you would use let's say i was actually using it a lot when i was doing this because on this one oops didn't need to do that didn't need to flash i'm like it's the wrong way oh my goodness you get to, i didn't want to flash you here or anything but so i would have done this triangle and then this triangle so i'd have to put this uh and park it somewhere so i was just parking it on the cable and i would just screw these caps onto the cable so it wouldn't fall off but then i could use the needles to knit my other set so i just had multiples of the cables to knit the triangles before i knitted them together on the rest of the body do they come in a 10 millimeter and a short cable um so the shortest cable i believe is 40. let me see 40. Da, da, da. i had it here 60. I'm pretty sure that I saw a 40. So the shortest cable is 40, which with the with the needles will make it about this long. And then the 10, I do have like right here. Look at that. 10 millimeter is what you're looking for. And 40 centimeters would be the shortest cable. So you'd have a really, really, it'll be about this long with the needle. So we do have them right here. And I love them. I just, I love the look of them. I love the feel of them. I have changed to wooden needles um, a long time ago, actually, because I personally, I was struggling with metal needles because they would hurt my hands. And uh, also because I knit, I want to say medium uh, tightness. So I'm not like a super tight knitter, just, I would say it's pretty regular. Uh, and especially when I was knitting socks and you have your four or your five needles actually, they would always slide off because it just wouldn't it wouldn't stay on there and it would hurt my fingers just the way because I grip really tightly. So I switched to um, bamboo initially and then I was having trouble with bamboo because I would actually bend my bamboo needles because I'm gripping so tightly, but I'm knitting not super tight. Um, so and I would actually split my bamboo needles. So personally, that was not working for me. Um, and so that's why I changed to wood. So I have recently changed to the um, to these two. So the uh, the symphony or the ebony ones uh, because they are harder than bamboo. So I want to say this is medium hardness, and the ebony are super hard, um, and uh, they just feel so much nicer. And I don't wear them out quite as fast like my bamboo needles. Like I'll make two pairs of socks, and like my tips would be rounded or split or something. So I just, it wasn't for me. I know some people really swear by it and that's totally fine. Uh, I just wanted to give you some other options uh, for uh, what works well. So this is uh, harder than bamboo. They look really fun. They're so pretty. I just really, really like them. And then there's also the, uh, the kit. So this is kind of what I have, but this one doesn't have the 10 millimeter in it, but it's the kit of, it has uh, from 3.5 to eight. So it has eight sizes in it. And then it does come with, I think, four cables. It comes two of the 80s and then two other ones um, in this kit. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to, I like having all of the needles on hand because I always miss that one needle. Um, so anyway, so this is one of the kits with the colored needles that we have, uh, as well as these. I thought this was strange that <laughs> there was an empty spot, but that's the way the kit comes because it does come with five sizes. But I guess they have other kits that come with six 
and they use the same packaging. So no, there's nothing missing. It's just like this one comes with five sizes. And I use these all the time for all of my different socks with the different, how much is the kit? Oh, I do. You're asking, you're really expecting me to know all the, I didn't put a price sticker on it yet, but it is online. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it's it's somewhere around $100. I want to say it was under 100 and I can't remember right now, but it is, it is already online. Um, it'll be available for sale tomorrow, but I've already listed it online. Um, and then the next set, which I also really like, you know, Mother's Day is coming up. Just saying, I would have loved to get something like this. I mean, I just bought them myself, which is also okay. I mean, treat yourself. Hey, um, so this is also the Knit Pro Symphony set, but in the rose finish. So it comes in this beautiful, beautiful box. It's like a, it has like a wood look to it, but it's a, it's a faux leather. And then this opens up. Oh, I have it. No, I don't have it upside down. So it opens up and it has like a nice uh, velvety lining and, uh, and then it has these needles. So they're all um, birch wood with a rose stain on it, I want to say. And then it has like the uh, the golden finish in the back. And then you lift this off. And then you get to all of your other things. So it has uh, a needle gauge in it. It has the... Um, it has the little tool and the connector. So with this connector here, you can actually use two cables and make them longer. So you can make them long, like you can, if you have you have multiple cables, you need one just to be a little bit longer. You can actually connect multiple cables together with this. Then it comes with the cables here, multiple sizes of cables. And it comes with a shawl pin. That's an extra. They don't actually sell that on its own. But it comes with a shawl pin. So if you like to do a lot of lace knitting or lace shawls. It comes with this beautiful um, rose finished shawl. And then it comes with the instructions as well. So I'm gonna put all of these back. Um, we also have some other beautiful sets in the in the Ebony collection. Um, definitely take a look at those as well. And uh, I would be happy to receive that. I'm sure that somebody has someone special they would like to gift that to, even if that someone is just for yourself. I mean, Again, treat yourself. Uh, oh, and another set of needles. I actually, uh, I have not tried them yet, but I'm super intrigued by them. So these are the Carbons needles. I got them in three sizes specifically for the sock knitters to start with. I'm more than happy to order anything in that you need that we don't have right now. Just shoot us a message. We can absolutely do that. So what's great about these is, so this part is carbon fiber. So you'll have that, like it, they're not too cool. Um, they you know, they're not as stiff and rigid as a metal needle. So I'm hoping, what I'm hoping to get out of it is that this has um, the feel of the what I like about the wood, that it has that kind of feel on my hands. But then the tips are metal. So there are some yarns that I want to say, you know, they just lend themselves better to a metal tip because a metal tip is just like a little bit pointier maybe and a little bit sl uh, slidier. So I do like, I do like having different needles for different purposes because all of the yarns are a little bit different and all of the projects are a little bit different. So we did get um, three sets, uh, three sets, three sizes of these because I'm super excited about them. I feel like it will solve some of my problems with some, uh, not problems, but uh, things that I would like to improve in my knitting. Um, for other purposes. So these came in. Uh, and then um, these ones, the uh, the braid, braid, is it called braid and cable? It's called cable in English. So I'm still working on my English uh, knitting language because it is a whole nother language to learn uh, working on it. Uh, so the cable needles uh, in, the, um, in the symphony colored wood, uh, which uh, I love doing cables. I love cables, love, love, love it. So these came in and then obviously we have all of the sizes of the uh, of the 15 centimeters um, double pointed needles of these as well, because that's personally what I use most these days because I love sock knitting all day, every day, all the time. You know, when like yesterday I had to go to the dentist, but then, you know, between pickup and dentist, I had like a 20 minute wait time, perfect to bring my knitting stuff with me and just do that while I wait. Because I mean, why not? Uh, and then the last thing I think is, no, 
I have two more things to show you. Two more things, uh, just bear with me, is these knit blockers. So I, you know, I had realized when I'm blocking, when I start blocking bigger things, um, doing all of the needles, it just takes forever. So I found these, which I was super intrigued by and absolutely loved them. So this one is the rainbow colored one. Uh, and there's two sizes of knit blockers in it. And basically it looks like a comb, but it's a whole bunch of needles attached to it. So you can do basically multiple needles at a time rather than doing all of your individual needles. And also you're not going to easily lose these. Like I easily sometimes lose little needles and I have a dog and I have small children. So this is better to keep track of your needles for blocking. And it's also going to make it so much more um, efficient. So there's two sizes. There's this size and then there's these smaller size combs in there, which have four needles. And uh, yeah, these are pretty cool. And they come in a nice little box oh, that I'm now not understanding how it works. There you go. So the rainbow knit blockers. And then I think this is one that some people have been waiting for. I thought this was the coolest thing ever. So these are the non-slip sock stopper things. So these were specifically designed for socks. But yes, you can put them on other things as well. So these are little... Um, so there's, oh, I said there was four paws. Look, there's actually eight paws on them. Oh, I have to change the listing. Actually, you get eight paws with each of these. So they're, uh, they're a little grippy. What does it say what it's made out of? I wanted to say vinyl, but what does it say? It's a, uh, it doesn't say, it doesn't say. I thought that I knew what they were made out of but they're like a a grippy vinyl. it's it is like a vinyl it's a grippy vinyl type thing uh and you just iron them onto your socks so your knitted socks you can iron these on it's there's a description in the back right here on how you do it basically on a low temperature on uh, number two for delicate fabrics let it cool down and you know repeat if needed and you can wash it an up to 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, so if you do footed pajamas, you can put it on there. If you do uh, the like the footed, the little, like the, what are they called? The little booties. If you like sewing booties, this will be perfect to put at the bottom of the booty. So each sheet has eight. And if, you know, if I had red, I know that I put four. If I had red, <laughs> I would have seen this. There's a big fat eight right there. There's eight of them, even though it only shows four. There's eight of them. So there's green. Then there's black paws. There's red paws. Yellow. And blue. So all of these will be available tomorrow for your slippers, for your socks, for all of those things. Uh, and I really hope that your creative uh, center of your brain has been thoroughly tickled um, with all of these beautiful things. Like I have so many things that I want to make. Uh, I don't even know where to start. Oh, and he said, just brought me one more thing that I'm supposed to mention because it's May the 4th today. Does everybody know what May the 4th means? It means it's Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. So I did want to remind you of these. I'll be right back. Star Wars prints. There's a little bit still left over from our licensed print. So there's this Star Wars print, which has like all the characters in the little comic y strip um, things. And we do have coordinates, solid coordinates for all of these. Um, if you go to the product, and you click on the name of the product, not on the picture. It'll give you get, get you to the product listings page. And when you scroll down, it'll say these. You might be interested in these as well. And those are the matching ones. So these are like some spaceships on this one. And then last but not least, we have uh, this one that has a Millennium Falcon. It has the other one. <laughs> I'm not so good at it. Then there's like, you know, all of these things on there uh, that all our Star Wars uh, fans will appreciate. So happy Star Wars Day. Um, add all of the things that you uh, that you uh, want to get your hands on tomorrow to your wish list. If you have any more questions, feel free to put it in the comments down below. Um, 
or messages on Facebook if you needed a color match for any of your fabrics or your yarns uh, or some sizing help. I'm always here to help. And um, thanks for watching. Bye for now.